All right. Back from commercial. Commercial break. <laughs> commercial yeah. break's done. We, we took a long break on the videos. <laughs> we did, like, but we're back. <laughs> we're still here. Better than ever. Hopefully. It's like a two month break. Like, yeah. Well, it's okay. We warned you guys. Great. Um, all right. We're here today with Aaron Shotliff, BFF. We're in a pretty interesting looking field. Yeah. So, let's see. Maybe go back to like last crapping season. So, what was in here and then bring us to today. So uh, last year this was soybeans that were no-tilled into corn stubble and it was kind of poor planting conditions. The soybeans didn't perform very well and then after we harvested the soybeans I planted the rye and blocked off six rows across the drain grain drill so later I could come back and plant the soybeans through and the soybeans were planted on Mother's Day between the rye and so there's three rows of rye at like seven and a half inch spacing yep and then you skipped a row so then you've yep. got 30 inches between the rye right between no the so it'd be a Okay. It'd be it's thirteen then. Yeah, it'd be yes, a, it's 15. a fifteen inch opening a 15 for the inch soybeans. Gap. Okay. And then the soybeans are on thirties. Yep. All right. And then And what was the rate of rye? Oh yeah. Two bushels to the acre for rye. And the soybeans are planted at a hundred and forty thousand. Hundred and forty. Okay. So pretty standard. Yeah. Population. Okay. And when did you combine the rye again? Uh, a couple weeks ago? Yeah. Two? <laughs> yeah. About two weeks ago, probably. Like, I think we started like July 22nd, probably. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. July 20th, July 22nd, something like that. So it's been, what, 10 days? Okay, yeah. 15, two weeks. But, and you had an estimate for how much you thought you got off the rye, right? Or? Yeah, I thought, I think it was about 50 bushel to the acre. Okay. Pretty close to that. And then what's the goal, what like, what do you think you need to get on the beans to justify it? Oh, I don't know. What, Just, 40? <laughs> no. 30? <I> <laughs> like, Half? Anything's a plus, I Anything's guess. Anything's a plus, all right. I already got a 50 bushel of rye right. to the acres quite a bit, or you know. It's... And what was, what are you planning on using the rye for? Some will be used for seed and some will be used for, to feed the cows. Okay. And replace corn. And you were talking about earlier that you've been feeding the rye for about since yeah. you harvested it. Yeah. Two weeks or so? Yep. And you thought the quality was pretty good? Yeah. It's uh, like 62% starch. So, and the starch is actually more available than it is in corn. Okay. So. And you're feeding that to the milk cows? Yep. All right. Seems to be working. Oh yeah, you should probably say what you do as a farmer. <laughs> like, oh. what's your... Yeah, describe your farm. <laughs> yeah. Let's do a... Uh, so, I milk 150 cows and grow most all of my own feed. Uh, I do a lot of weird experiments with interseeding and cover crops and a lot of double cropping. A lot of... Try to do as much no-till as possible. Interceding, maybe? Yeah, a lot of interceding. <laughs> uh, all. And you're raising all your replacements? Yep. Young stock, everything gets raised on the farm? Yep. Um, and where are we? We are at the Anderson County, County Park. Right, but we're in Oregon. just outside oh. Oregon. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So South Central Wisconsin. South, yeah, South Central Wisconsin. <laughs> Um, let's see. So, 
Well, and then we maybe should say that it's it's a pretty dry year. So we're, it has been a day. we're about, I think, at least seven inches behind on, mm -hmm. on moisture. Um, and it hasn't rained in, God, at least a, I don't know, when did we get, when did those storms come through? Was that a week? Well, we, we, sh we should really half? review our notes. We should. We... <laughs> That's what makes this fun, though, is that we just kind of spitball it. But, I mean, I pulled up. Yeah, I think it's been. I think last month, not. It's been at least a week. There's ago, moisture. I mean, I'm. Like, everything pulls out easy. There's moisture. So that's good. I've seen sadder looking beans on my drive over here. More of them, <laughs> but they were sad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think I was shocked when I pulled up that you didn't run the combine parallel. Yeah. Oh yeah, so why? That was uh, uh, cause I didn't have narrow tires on the combine. Okay. And if I'd have went straight with the rows, I was gonna run over the, the rows the whole way across, okay. down the whole way down the field. So I went crossways to try and not run over as Entire many beans. Rows. Yeah. Okay. I. Hopefully for next year when I try it, I get a set of narrow tires so I can just go down between the rows. But okay. I attempted to do that this year, but I didn't get them before it was time to. Okay. Well, you're going to try it next year. Right. So that's, that's one positive <laughs> right. note I'm hearing here. Right. But narrower tires and a wider head. Okay. Did you make any other adjustments to the combine? Nope. Okay. Just used, this was all regular equipment, a John Deere 750 grain drill to plant the rye, a John Deere 7200 corn planter to plant the beans, and a 9500 John Deere combine to combine it. Okay, right. And yeah. then, okay, so beans will come off. What's next in this field? Probably corn. Corn. Probably plant rye again for cover crop. Yep. And then probably corn. But I think next next year when I do it, I think I'll block off another row and make so there's will be a, a twenty a, a wider gap. Inch gap or yeah, something. A wider yeah. gap for the soybeans, so maybe they'll maybe they'll get more light early sure. on and then they will get bushier is my my thought. Mm. But. Okay. What, um, I guess, what about uh, chemical and fertilizer? Oh. No fertilizer at all. Just starter? Nothing. 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 Okay. And then uh, we didn't spray it with anything until after I harvested the rye, we sprayed Roundup on the soybeans. Okay. okay that's that's so. good. There was enough giant ragweed probably to justify. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So but it's not that bad. Like I mean, you see the patches that, of it, but they're getting like the edges of the field yep. were got really weedy, but really in the out in the field there wasn't much for no. weeds at all. But so it's pretty pretty low input. I don't mm -hmm. you know don't have to get huge yields to be to be profitable to it, yeah. yeah but well someday we'll run numbers on stuff right <laughs> well i mean it'll be neat to calculate it and yeah. figure it out yeah, yeah. i took yeah. soy the soybean population but that was before you harvested so maybe i should re yeah it's lower now <laughs> but all right no. Anything else about it that people would want to know? Like, uh, I mean, you did it with rye, but it could uh, you could try trit, you could try. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Or I'd like to try it with wheat and with triticale yeah. at different times. But right. Just the rye makes the most sense for me, or use a lot of rye seed for cover crop. So. And you can feed it. Not that you couldn't feed wheat or triticale. But. Yeah. But um, I wonder, like different rye varieties, maybe. Right. Like, yeah. Th this is all variety, not stated. Okay. I don't know. Okay. But what it is, what variety? But 
So for this, you'd want something taller. Uh, so you wouldn't clip the soybeans or yeah. unnecessarily? And yeah. then at least it didn't lodge. A lot of yeah. rye lodged this yeah, year, right. and this didn't. Right. Yeah. But... Yeah, there. That was that was my idea with doing it with rye. Is that the rye would grows taller than wheat will, so I wouldn't have. I, I didn't think I'd have to worry as much about yeah. clipping off the beans. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's an experiment in our future. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like we were able to go along right above the beans and not. Yeah not do any damage to them other than the ones I ran over. Mm -hmm. And maturity soybeans? Uh, I'll have to check my notes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you didn't know we were going to quiz you, huh? Right. Yeah. They're, they're, O'Brien's 2120, I believe, is the variety number. Okay. You can add in a little bar. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Anytime we misspeak, Chelsea just edits it out. <laughs> Weird, weird <laughs> pause. Or, or she'll put like a little word bubble next to you. This is what I meant to say. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, what else? I guess we'll come back and check in on this volunteer rye. That'll be interesting to see yep. how much. That will be. Yeah. That so, could be a potential problem. That could be. If the volunteer rye gets too tall. Cool. Well, yeah. we're going to go take some pictures of the interceding for future reference. Right. But thanks for sitting down with us. I know. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? No, it's right. wonderful. Great. All right. We cool. did it. We did we're it. back. We're, launch your firm is back. <laughs> oh, and we didn't even say our name, I don't think.